Yo, what's up? This video has been brought to you by Card Kingdom. Welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop. This week we are playing a heist deck. That's right. There is a brand new mechanic added to Arena, uh, and it might actually be kind of busted. So let's try it out. Grave Expectations, for those that don't know, Heist is actually just straight up stealing the cards from your opponent's deck. We're taking this through Timeless. We're going to see how it pairs up with cards like Raghavan, things like that. But every single one of these cards steal from our opponent's deck. One of them being Grave Expectations, as I read earlier, but that can also be an exile up to three cards from your opponent's graveyard. Uh, we've also got Impetus uh, Lootmonger, which also, again, enters the battlefield, discard a card, then heist target opponent's library, and whenever you cast a spell you don't own, create a treasure token. Then we've got Triumphant Getaway, which is the enchantment when it enters the battlefield, heist target opponent's library twice, and when you cast a spell you don't own, each opponent loses two life, and you gain two life. And then, lastly, is Weave the Nightmare. Choose one, but if you control a non-land permanent you don't own as you cast this spell, you may choose to instead. For three mana, you potentially can get both heist, target opponent's library, target creature gets minus five, minus five, and or counter target non-creature spell. All these seem pretty damn uh, powerful, so let's try them out. Yeah, this seems pretty good. We have graveyard hate. Uh, I'll, I'll keep this. It's mono red. I think I'm worried right now because that's mono red. Do I want to just take a ton of damage to the dome? I'm going to just play Raghavan. We're going to see what happens. An honest Raghavan. What are the odds they have an answer? That's unbelievable. They had it and it's Searing Blood. Oh, that hurts so much. <laughs> that hurts so unbelievably much. Uh, I need to surveil. I need to find a land. Okay, I'll keep that. I'll pass. I need to be able to answer this, this little 2-2 that's coming in. I don't know why I fetched main phase. Ignore that. Uh, okay, sure. Sure. So I want them to swing here so it exiles a card from their hand. Or it exiles a card from their deck. Sure. So I get bolted. I'm down to six. That's fine. Play land tapped. Pass. I would like to shock in and play Magda, but that just doesn't seem like a good idea. Robber of the Riches. Okay, sure. That can resolve. I'm kind of wondering, should I push this card or not? You know what? I am going to push this card. And on the brighter side, because I'm going to try to heist them, I might be able to steal a ton of cards. Wait, don't I gain life with this? Hold on. I might just block and try to gain some life. All right. And I, I can't hit lands. Block. Uh, Let's make sure you don't have random things to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and just block. Get the three life. God, this card is kind of nuts. It's graveyard hate. It's everything all in one. Hold on, that's kind of nuts. Uh, sure. Like, like, wait, is this, is this deck kind of insane? Hold on. <laughs> I just gained so much life. Sure. Uh, no blocks. Let's see if they answer my monkey. What do we get from their deck? Do they see what's in my hand? That is the thing I don't know. I will play this just because I can. I'm going to try to pop this dude. Oh, am I the burn deck now? This is so sick. This is kind of insane, actually. Okay. <laughs> the fact that these cards are guaranteed to hit something good, that's kind of nuts. I, ah, this bums me out because it's totally doable in paper. Like, this is entirely possible in paper, I think. Oops, I accidentally discarded something. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. 
Okay, I'm gonna go fetch a blue red land so then I can play Drown and Lock as well. All right, we're up against uh, uh, this miserable deck. How do I beat this miserable deck? Um, sure, I'll go ahead and pass. I mean, okay, I need to find like a two drop or something to do here because my opponent's just flying ahead, right? No questions asked, get any land. They're good doing whatever it is they're doing, that's fine. Kinda cracked. Garen Brig, yeah, that makes sense. But they only get one land, right? Uh, I'm gonna fetch here. I'm gonna go get my blue red, as I had mentioned. Uh, I need I need to kill this. I wish Notion Thief existed. Or not Notion Thief. Um, I guess technically Notion Thief does exist, but I wish uh, uh, Opposition Agent existed. God, Opposition Agent would be so good in this meta. Uh, I'll go ahead and pass. So now if they fetch, I can counter a three drop. No safety blanket needed in this deck. No ley line of sanctity. Let's just see what life is like without a ley line of sanctity. You know, that's what this deck's all about. Just living on the edge. No ley line, just our hopes and dreams in hand. Do they have like a creature or something like that? They do. Okay, so I guess I can like bolt the creature. See whatever. They oh God, what are they going to get? Probably a Titan, but you know. Oh, so next turn, they're going to be able to play that Titan. I need to find something to do now. Can I mana drain that? Oh, I can Thought Seize that. That's pretty good. That's a good one, unless they have another one, which they always do, but, you know, whatever. Luckily, I can counter that one because they have six cards in the yard now. I think they're going to go get Cavern here. Yep. I guess my question is, what do I do now? I'm just gonna go, oh, I, this has haste. Hold on, what am I doing? Oh, the Cavern of Souls is so brutal. It's so brutal. They were smart to like wait because my God. I'll take it, sure, why not? Wow, these are all bad, okay. Or I mean, sorry, did I say haste? I meant flash. I don't think I can win from here. I just don't know what I do against this opponent, right? They go get Feel of the Dead. I can't counterspell them. So I guess at this point, like, sure. Giant, you got it. I kind of just got to let it happen. Now, I am curious. Does Gaia's Blessing shuffle back into my deck or theirs? I don't think I can beat this. I drew another land. I think that's about to lock it up. Okay. Now, I know in normal magic, I can't shuffle cards I don't own in. But because this is like an al like a, a, an alchemy thing, I'm curious. So, um... So, I'm hoping here I can, I don't know, dodge like a titan or something big. But I, I don't feel too good about that. They would pro they're probably better off targeting themselves if, if I'm my opponent. Because then you shut off Drown in the lock. Alright, sure thing. I might just die here to, uh, you know, of course, feel the brain dead, but, like, that's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, that is useless right now. Wow. All right, so it goes to their yard, which we kind of knew that would. GG's. Do I want to turn one Thought Seize? Heist might be an actual broken mechanic. Like, despite what, like, whatever goes, like, I mean, this just is kind of nuts. Heist target opponent's library, and then if I have a non-land permanent that I control that's not mine, it does even more? That's kind of nuts. My opponent here has two cards in hand. Or three cards in hand. I think I am going to Thought Seize them. Oh. Huh. Maybe I should go help them discard their, uh, their Atroxa. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. It's a terrible idea. Play this land tapped. I don't think I want that land. I need to find something better to do. Like, I, I have the one mana heist card, Grave Expectations, to hate out their graveyard. So I'm not too worried here. If I just got to find it, right? That's, that's going to be the complicated part, finding it. I wonder if they respect the stifle. Do they respect the stifle? All right. Magda makes it so that now, let's see if they, if I get to do any crimes, I get more treasures, more treasures, more mana to do stuff with their cards, ideally. 
they might be a little suspicious on why I'm just taking one point of damage. I, I gotta I gotta represent stifle. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll pass. Yeah, no, it resolves. I want to stifle as something else. I'm not a person that's just like you know that miserable where I'd only play stifles in a deck, right? No, I could never. All right, opponent kept whatever on top here. Ooh, this could be bad news bears for me. If I don't find something soon, I'm in trouble. So deck, please. If I could find that graveyard hate, that'd be so sick. Oh, they had the reanimate. What a gamer. What a gamer. Let's just net another treasure. So that if I need to, I can go ahead and bow masters them. Or do heist something from their library. That's kind of funny. But I, I should probably uh, get ready to counter a non-creature spell. Search your library for mana value. Allows for black card equal number. Yeah, sure. That's fine. That's one less a reanimate in their deck for them to draw. Uh, I will go ahead and fetch. I mean, I kind of like the idea of keeping my treasure, but eh, I'll just do this. It's fine. Counter target, not creature spell. All right. I got three treasures. Three treasures means dragon time. Let's get a treasure. Pass. Wait, but I had more. I will keep this. Kind of want to hold a bolt or play monkey. Who doesn't like playing monkey, right? Oh, okay. Well, whatever they're doing, I don't like. So it's probably Saltai. It's probably Saltai. I'm already sad. All right. So I got to go get a watery Dave. No, let's get, let's get the steam event. Let's get the steam event. I'll play monkey. Monkey. All right, opponent. What you got for me? The Mystical Sanctuary. Okay. Wait, is this Teamer Lands? Does that exist? I didn't expect to get this far. Hold on. I mean, I guess. Sure. I'm going to play a body. I'm going to see if I regret it. Hold on. I kind of like that. I'll take the, the Mishra's Bobble. All right, sure. That's an Uro on top for the opponent, huh? Okay. All right, that's an Uro on top. That card's this is this has got to be like Simic Nexus or something like that. That's fine. That's fine. For right now, that's fine. Let's get them to eat more of their own graveyard, I guess. What is this teamer deck doing right now? Well, I do have this spell pierce, which is nice if they try to bolt or unholy meat. I will counter. Okay, this Im Impetus Lootmonger is kind of cracked. Don't want to lie. Kind of cracked. Uh, let's see what their, their deck does. Expressive Iteration. Don't mind if I do. Oh, wait. No. Oh, no. You weren't happy about that? I'm going to keep this. This is insane. This deck seems kind of cracked. Uh-oh. Monkey? That's bad. That's bad for us. All right, let's see what they're doing. All right, I'll get rid of Reprieve. I think Reprieve is kind of annoying. I don't mind if they hit me here. I, I guess it depends what they get from me, but I hope it's a land. Oh, of course it's Bowmasters. Of course it's Bowmasters. That's a really good draw, isn't it? Fetch. All right, I got to see if I could do anything right now. They're going to path me. Technically, they should do this before I uh, do anything here, but thank you. They fell for it. They just gave me more mana. All right, put that into play. A Blood Crypt. I'm going to need a Lightning Helix. Okay. So I'm at the Lightning Helix Monkey. Not too worried right now about, about Orcish Bowmasters. Oh, that's... More bad news. They just keep giving me bad news. Why is that? No freaking way. They hit thought seas. That's actually kind of a little miserable. That's a little miserable. I mean, they probably take grave expectations though because triumphant getaway doesn't do anything. Oh, okay, well then, perfect. Thank you, opponent, I guess. 
I want the body. I need to leave up my mana here. Oh, God. This is what I get for playing good cards. They steal them. I, should, I wouldn't be worried about good cards if I didn't have any good cards. You see? Oh, what the... Oh, God damn it. I forgot to kill that. Sure, let's prevent some damage. I don't really draw too many cards. I was supposed to kill the token first. Okay, so they're going to bolt me directly. Sure, I'm at four. I guess I pass. I don't know if I want to actually play this card. It's probably better as discard fodder. Let's see if I can find an answer to this reflections of Kakajiki. I'm hoping they ran out of answers. All right, if I can kill, that's perfect. Now I get two draws. Oh, that's so bad for us. That's so bad for us. All right, I got to hang back. All right, I'll, I'll block reflections. Looks like they have a bolt. Maybe a lightning helix or something. I got to try. All right, am I alive? Oh, they do? Cool, I drew a land myself. Can't, oh, boy, I can't wait. All right, will I draw something before they draw another burn spell? No. The answer is no. So now I can actually copy and make tons of Kakajikis, but I might be dead. Yep. GG's. I'll keep this. This is pretty dece. Let's thought seize. Let's take a look. Bolt, skewer. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I guess let's just take the skewer. Can't counter that one. They play Mishra's Bobble. They, they get the Bobble anyways, right? But I at least have a counter spell to a Bolt by having Grave Expectations. So gaining three, that's pretty much a counter spell to our opponent. That I could get down with. Take three, go to 13. Three cards in the yard. We just need to live long enough to get to Triumphant Getaway. That's fine. Maybe it gets them to burn a Bolt or something to trigger Prowess a little bit more. All right, I'll, I'll kill the Swift Spear. No need to take any damage here. If they want to bolt me, they can bolt me. That's fine. All right, wish I had that a little bit earlier, but that's okay. I have I have a counter spell in Grave Expectations here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cast what I need right now. Let's go ahead and pass to the opponent here. Um, let's try to bolt Eidolon. So we counterspelled their bolt by casting Grave Expectations. Second mode, exile up to three cards from your opponent's graveyard. Gain three life. We cast Bolt on Eidolon of the Great Revels. Take two. Thank you. Monkey. Monkey's perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. They're probably going to just spend a ton of burn on my Bowmasters here. There is a discussion to wait a turn to try to get him to swing with uh, Monkey and then block with Token. Thus, for sure, forcing the bolt. I want to leave up mana so I can play Triumphant Getaway. Hang back. They have two mana. Kamano faces Kakazan. Big Kaka bird. You got it. If they bolt me, they put me down to four. Skewer, that's fine. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play Triumphant Getaway now. I think this is pretty good. <laughs> that's exactly what I want. All right, so I send damage upstairs. I think they're dead. I don't think the opponent can come back from this. We're at eight now. And on top of that, I've got a counter spell in Grave Expectations. Gaining me three, aka countering their whole deck. Let's literally counter spell on top of that. Let them know, always have a backup plan. All right, GG's. Look, Grave Expectations against a Lurus deck. Would be a shame if I get thought seized though. Don't thought seize me. I never go first. All right, blue and black. Thought seize me, right? Yep, there it is. Will I get the thought seize bug and will I now be able to exile something from them? Or discard something from them? Nope, all right, pass. They know what's happening in my board. It's a control deck. Okay, I'm gonna try to fetch. I guess I could try to get some mana drain going. Who knows? 
All right, I'm gonna fetch shock. All right, so now I bowmaster them. We're both at 15. We both just bowmastered. They have more lands than I do, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not gonna block because if they have another bowmaster, I get blown out. Maybe I just need to, like, fire off any of my two drops right now, right? Because I'm not going to beat them in the long game. Let it go. Sick. All right. Let's try to resolve Magda. Mana drain, okay? Pass. Let's see what they do with all that mana they just got. They have they're now at six mana. All right, sure. Okay, yeah, that that's annoying, but sure. All right, if they're willing to attack, that means they have a blocker or something. So, we'll see. I'm going to try to cast this removal spell. I just can't I can't afford to to risk it here. I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter here because if I get to... If they play Lurus, I can try to counter it, forcing them to use a counter spell or something. And then when they, with it still on the stack, exiling the things that matter. All right, let's see if they counter spell me back. All right, so they did get countered. But now they have to answer my Bowmasters. I assume which they have. They've been sitting there looking like they've got something for days. Non-token creature, sure. They're Grixis? Why? Ooh. Um, I'll go ahead and try to exile spells. Does it resolve? Uh, does this resolve? Alright, so they did have a counter spell. I guess I just gotta keep swinging? Oh, god. Am I gonna just get smacked by a 6-6 six -six here? I think I am. This chase is giving them a lot of value right now. Drown in the lock. We love that. We love that. Sure. That's that's wild. That's a good read on them to know that I had it. I guess I'll just play my own Jace. Okay. Right, so they're going to go get a land. They're going to counter kill everything I play. But if they do that, then they can't protect Jace. Okay, so right now they cannot protect Jace. All right, they threw Fatal Push away. Draw a card, then discard a card. I'll just draw... Oh. I'm a ditch monkey. I'm a ditch monkey here. Oh, it's Ward 3. Hold on, I can't do what I wanted. It's Ward 3. I can't do what I wanted. Wait, why can't I swing? Wait, hold on. Why can't I use Delph? Hello? Is this bugged? Hold on, this might be bugged. Alright, I guess I won't get Dig. That's a problem? Because now I would have la gladly done the gotten a Fatal Push to kill Hall. They got another copy of, of, of nothing. What the hell? Why does this dig not work? They make We make them animate block. Sure. So now we get in. We try to deal one. If they have a counter spell, I get to spell pierce it. Oh my god. Wait, why does this not work? Can I not delve, delve each from your graveyard while casting this? Yeah, what the hell? I should be able to delve, right? Oh. Oh, hold on. Did I just have to click it? Wow, that was not intuitive whatsoever. That was not intuitive to me whatsoever. All right, there it is. That's it's an interface issue. Oops. I did not know that. Okay. Let's do this. Come on, game. Give me something good. I want blue and... Oh, no. I want black and red, actually. It's pretty good. I'll take five. Perfect. 
Oh my god. That's so good. Alright. So I get rid of uh, the annoying show and tell. Ooh, this might be scary. I think I have to fetch. I can't set up a surveil here. Alright. Alright, so they've assembled the team. I'm probably expecting them to go and... Uh, no way they don't hit show and tell now, right? Okay, so they fetch. What's my out from here? I need to counterspell the show and tell. Because they look at the top third of their deck. They surveil. Let's ball to the dome. So then next turn I can set up more mana. I, I don't even know what I get. Like, what's something I want to see from my opponent's deck, right? I mean, I'm just going to counterspell this. I'm going to play it now. Save all my mana. All right. I'm going to take Demonic Tutor. I'm going to get Test of Talents and pass or attack. So now I threaten Test of Talents, which is nice. Is this sorcery? Oh, right. Sleight of Hand is sorcery, not instant. Huh. Sure. I mean, they're looking for their way to kill me right, right now. All right, good enough. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. We're going to try some light stacks in this other video in Timeless, so check it out.